Well, this is a big week for Monarchists with King Charles and Queen Camilla arriving in Sydney on Friday night. The Republic movement is using the royal visit to launch a cheeky new campaign, labelling the visitor farewell to her and asking Australians to say goodbye to the royal reign. Have a look. Monarchy, the farewell of tour. See the together for the ultimate bon voyage. Ultimate. October 18 to 23 in person and on your money. Brought to you by you, the Australian taxpayer. Monarchy. Charles King and Camilla in consort. Don't miss your chance to wave goodbye to royal reign. Well, let's bring in the new co-chair of the Australian Republican movement, Esther Anatolitis. Thanks for joining us, Esther. Uh, interesting uh, ad there. I, look, I, I'm a Republican, so I'm sort of on board with your cause, but it just seems a little bit off to me when the King's been battling cancer and uh, he's coming out here good on him uh, uh, while, while, while he's being treated, that you're, you're promoting this as a farewell tour. First of all, thanks for having me, Chris. It's monarchy that it's that it's important we look at farewelling. To Charles and Camilla, we say, welcome to Australia and have a wonderful time while you're here. Uh, travel safely and in good health. Uh, but this is a great time for us to be saying, why in this day and age is there still a monarchy at that apex of Australian democracy? So it's monarchy, the farewell Oz tour. Yeah, that's what I'm into. You know, we ought to be having the discussion about whether we have uh, merit at the heart of our constitution, uh, whether we should have a foreign monarch sitting at the very apex of, of that constitution and therefore our legal and democratic system. But this sort of... I just get... I, I get a bit worried that if you're just having sort of cheap shots at the monarchy, it, the, the, the whole debate's never going to be advanced properly. I see it as something that is, um, it's certainly lighthearted, it is, it is bold, but it's also about addressing Australian culture, addressing us as Australians. We do love a, a visiting show, but, you know, we also love fairness, equality, uh, justice. Um, it just doesn't make sense in this day and age that Australia's head of state is the monarch of another country appointed by birthright and, and, and so on. We won't be a fully democratic country until our head of state is someone that we've democratically selected, works for us full time uh, and is uh, accountable to all of us as Australians. And how are you going as an organisation? You lost uh, Fitzy the pirate who was running the show, then you had Craig Foster and Nova Paris for a while who fell out over, over the Middle East. Uh, how are you going as an organisation? Who's your, who's your co-chair and, and how's your membership going? My my co-chair is Nathan Hansford. Hi, Nathan. Uh, Nathan was formerly the convener of our ACT branch uh, and uh, has also been a, a committed member for a long time. Look, we have still got, uh, you know, uh, tens of thousands of members and supporters all over Australia, of all ages, of cultural backgrounds. Um, uh, the organisation, of course, is a, uh, a, you know, a good, small, tight, non-profit organisation uh, and the membership remains um, vocal and, and, and passionate. All right, thanks for joining us, Esther. I appreciate it.